Hey, Brandon. Hey, Kat. How are you? I'm wonderful. Where are we today? We are at Nuova Simonelli. Okay. We are going to play around with not actually being a barista. The whole machine does everything for you, super automatic. So this is like Brandy's dream machine, basically. Yeah, I mean, well, I have three of these in my home. <laughs> One in the bathroom, just in case. Um, so this is a super auto that they offer, this correct? Is a, yes, this is the top of the line super automatic from Nuova Simonelli. It's okay. called their Talento Plus machine. Mm -hmm. um, it is high volume, so three to 400 drinks per day. That's, okay. that's what we're going for here. Uh, set up in a couple different ways. We mm -hmm. can use it as a, what's called a one-step machine where I'm just going to hit a button and make a latte, ca cappuccino, anything from that standpoint. Okay. Or as a two-step machine where I'm actually going to use it to make the drink and then I can steam my own milk as well. Okay. Um, some of the features, you know, just like any other super, you've got two grinders up top. You've mm -hmm. got pretty big hoppers that are going to stand inside of there. Mm -hmm. um, independent grinding motors that's going to dose it down into the chamber itself. Okay. Uh, it has a 21 gram chamber inside of it, so it's it's a big one. You know, a lot of super automatics you're only looking at 16 gram chambers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a true triple shot basically that's going to be inside there. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's actually start by taking the inside here real quick. I'm just going to kind of take this out first. We've been using it a little bit. Well, that's the Dregs box. It's there. not our machine, though, so I don't care. <laughs> so it's open. It's yeah. just wide open when you get inside of here. Uh, this is actually the chamber that we were talking about, 21 grams. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the unique features about this one, first off, it's 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 a metal base, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of the ones you see are plastic. There's mm -hmm. a lot of temperature and stability from that standpoint. Um, this actually has a heating element inside of it as well. Okay. So machines right now you can even touch it it's really hot metal gets cold as it basically sits uh -huh. um, i can set this really to whatever temperature i want to have so I, I believe right now we have it set at 200 degrees which is the brew temperature okay um but that's going to maintain a, a stability for me when i can do that now i'm mm -hmm. not aware of many if any that have a heating element actually in the, the brew group brew itself chamber. okay Okay. Um, one of the features they have here is a little knockdown box. Apparently, not a lot of places are able to use it. Okay. Um, but if you look, it's a big chamber that goes straight down. So theoretically, you can have it actually dispense right into a, a tray underneath, so you're not having to like a waste this. basket. Okay. Exactly. Um, so super automatics. Big thing on them: clean, clean, clean. It's a, yes. it's always cleanliness. Mm -hmm. uh, if you actually come to this side real quick, you're going to see a nice little day of the cleaning chart. Oh, nice. So uh, if you're not cleaning, it's kind of your fault. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't clean, you're going to end up with like a lot of uh, machine error issues. And machine errors, you're going to end up seeing a technician like myself quite often, <laughs> which you love me right now, but trust me, in the third visit, yeah, uh, not no, so much. Very surly. Um, it, this basically, um, when if I were to actually reset this, this thing would have been down, so I was able to get to the screen. Okay. Uh, but from a daily cleaning standpoint, we just want to keep all this stuff clean. I mean, you can see just a little bit of, of what's getting built up inside of there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really what you're going for. Again, you'll see there's a whole video as well about cleaning, but right here is a step-by-step -step process where to go through for that. Okay. Okay. So now we have this very sophisticated screen. Can you take me through this functionality here? Yes, that is what we are gonna do. Let me get that back in real quick. It's okay. gonna heat itself back up. Um, it's pretty simple. So it's all these different menu buttons. Okay, there's ten of them here, I believe. And mm -hmm. what you have is a second menu option as well. Oh, so okay. So theoretically, I can actually program twenty different drinks inside nice. of it. Nice. Uh, where that becomes important again is you're going to see some of this f uh, functionality. When I'm getting into the milk-based drinks, I can make a lot of changes. Okay? okay. So I've got all these steam buttons that are actually done. Um, one feature. Let's get on that steam arm. You're going to see on this. There's actually a motor in the back here that's getting interject air through this steam. Okay. Uh, one of the obvious see as you're expanding milk you know if you're typically doing it you're going to be bringing it out actually interjecting that air yourself mm -hmm. from a super automatic we're trying to simplify that process okay um so they've now actually this is brand new they've just brought out they're going to be pushing air through here and creating that expansion and you can control that right through here as far as how much ex it's as far expanding as how much it expands if okay. i want to expand at 20 percent, i can do that 40 percent uh, if i just want to make it bubble over and have <laughs> a volcano. Bubbles. Not going to say I saw that happen yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but so you can program these and when you hit this, the steaming will exactly. begin. Okay. Exactly. So I might have, let's say, a real velvety uh, one for latte art on this mm -hmm. one here. But let's say I want to achieve a 50% expansion as well. Okay. I can program the second button. So up here where it's X2, I can hit that. And now that button is a completely different button. It's a okay. different menu. It's a different source. Okay, so yeah, every single thing that's on here, it's it's just doubled. So 10 here, hit that button. I got another 10 completely different programmable buttons. What can I program for each of these uh, sort of preset buttons? 
as far as what drinks can you program on mm -hmm. there. So you can, um, let's see if I can do this without breaking it. I saw this done earlier. <laughs> it's just actually just pops right off of there. Yeah, you can just pop the screen off, okay. So these are just little slide-ins. Um, if I can actually get that out, you'll be able to see that. Any little, ah, any, any one of these will actually just slide right out of there. Well, okay. you can see it kind of moving. Yeah. Um, any drink that basically you can go through. So of course you see Americano, you see your double espressos. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get into latte based drinks as well. Lattes, cappuccinos, um, just about anything that you wanna push through there. Oh, and the machine nice. comes with several um, uh, labels that you can change yeah. out depending on what your menu might exactly. consist of. Exactly. Okay. So let's just take it through the process here. We already have a program, so I'm gonna do an espresso. Okay. You can see just how easy it is. So Brandon, when I'm when I'm programming the um, espresso button, I can select like which hopper to pull from, yep. what kind of what the dosage amount and the volume. Is exactly. That, okay. And I'm gonna show you into the programming uh, mode as well, just so you can kind of see that. Okay. But I mean, you, right there again, you can just see how easy that is. It's a nice shot. It's got mm -hmm. nice little, I mean, nice crema that actually gets built from the top of it. Okay. Um, basically, what you have is primary is always gonna come from the right grinder. Um, I can actually hit the left as well if I want to go here. So we can go decaf or a different type of grind that's inside of it. Okay. Uh, once I'm in the programming mode, and that, that does take a little bit of time because you're going to be programming how much water's coming through mm -hmm. and how much coffee is actually coming through it as well. Okay. Um, but yes, you can control completely how much coffee is going to go into it, how much water is going to go in, the size of that shot. And that just gets into dialing in your shot. Okay. Okay. Um, the real, uh, honestly, the, the, the real hope of this machine or why mm -hmm. this machine is here is actually these milk based drinks. Okay. Um, so lattes, I mean, you know, making your espresso, that's great. Not a lot of people are necessarily drinking that drink. It was uh, good though. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Good. That is barista skills right there actually. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a good barista. For <laughs> um, so what I want to take you through right now is actually the making of the milk drinks. Okay. Um, so you can actually see the cappuccinos. We've got it set up two different ways. So I'm going to do it one where it's uh, the one step, like I was telling you, where it's actually going to pull everything directly through here. Okay. Uh, the other is going to be where I'm actually going to put it in here and I'm going to show you this steam arm that I was talking about actually working. Okay, we'll okay. be right back. Okay. Let's make you a cappuccino. Yay! So it's literally as simple as hitting this button. What we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to draw milk directly out of there. Okay. So I'm going to hit this button right now. So this? I could um, hook it up to like a refrigerator or something, my yep. milk side. Yep. Okay. So right now, of course, we're just doing this to show you, you can have, you're going to have a refrigerator typically attached to this as well. Okay. But you can see right there, I mean, it's, you know, I didn't have to steam anything. I hit a button, it does that, it mm -hmm. doses out beautiful, it's warm, mm -hmm. and I don't have to move anything around. I don't, I don't have to go one side or the other. Yeah. I'll lay it down there. Yeah, it's gonna nice up to the top there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful drink. Very easy to do. Um, you know, people really. They, I mean, that's why it's like, why do I have a super automatic? You know, from a staff standpoint, yeah, I can start with somebody from day one. Absolutely. And say, You're making cappuccinos today. <laughs> and if they get can't on cappuccino do it, duty, don't hire them. <laughs> cool. That's okay. Thank you. Now, can you show me how um, the the steam arm works? Because yes. I'm really interested to see that um, sort of automated. Yes. Process. Yep. So basically the steam arm process is the same thing. So we're going to go right through here. Okay. Now we've got it set, I believe at about like a 20, 30% um, expansion. Mm -hmm. um, but same option from steam. I'm just going to hit this button. So you can see it's actually articulating quite nicely. It's, it's moving it around. Um, you can see the expansion that just happened there. Do you hear that little buzzing back there? Mm -hmm. That's that pump that's interjecting air. That's the compressor that's working with exactly. it? Exactly. Okay. And you're going to hear it cut off in just a little bit here as well. And if you notice up here, it's actually running temperature as well. It's set up right now in centigrade. We can set that to Fahrenheit, I'm told. Okay. Um, but that's that's actually this right here that's reading that. I so see. So it's completely programmable if you want it to be 160 degrees in your cafe, 140 degrees, whatever you want to have. Holy cannoli. Look at oh, that milk. Yeah, look at that milk actually from, That's so gorgeous. from the steam arm. Do you really do you think you could probably do latte art with that one? Uh well not me no. <laughs> not you personally. <laughs> Somebody that knew what they were doing can definitely do that. Um, so obviously there's this is, you know, a lot of the guesswork taken out of uh, creating great consistent drinks. Yes. Um, what kind of environments would benefit from this kind of a machine? So again, high volume first off, that's the biggest thing. Okay. Um, you know, you're you can get away with it if you need 20, 30 drinks, but I mean this is really made to work. Okay. Um, this is high turnover places, you know, places again we're looking for 
ease of use. I'm mm -hmm. not looking to have a trained barista where I'm sending them out for weeks and weeks of training. Mm -hmm. When you come in, I mean, every one of these, all these drinks right here, five minutes, you learn it. You hit a button, you can make it. Okay. Um, so any type of restaurants where you're going to have multiple servers working it, um, it's, it's a very big benefit for them. I'm thinking a, a big hotel's kitchen, big hotels room service business, that would be great. Makes it incredibly, incredibly easy as mm -hmm. well. Um, you can see as you go through here, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to run you through all these drinks, but Americano option will actually run your double shot espresso and hot water directly oh, out of here, because okay. so I don't have to move it over for the hot water. Um, it, it's just endless what you can actually put through here. All right, will it do your laundry? It will do your laundry, actually. That feature is on the second. <laughs> second screen. Cool. <laughs> now, the, mm. it, it won't do that. One real quick thing before you go. I just want, oh. to, want to show you the grind adjustment as well. Oh, okay. That is going to be asked. Uh, you can kind of see right in those little corners right there. Um, I don't know if you can zoom in there. Yeah. A little finer and coarser, and it's just a little screw, uh, a little flathead screwdriver that you can get inside of there. So if you want to make it finer or coarser, you mm -hmm. just get inside of there. It's pretty easily accessible as well. Cool. All right, the Talento Plus by Nova Simonelli. Thanks, Thanks Brandon.